Hi, yeah, um, I've got, as you can imagine, I've got pieces of work everywhere. Some finished, some not finished, some waiting to be made into books. Um, so I just got it all out this morning. I do this quite regularly, actually. It re-inspires me. So what you're seeing is half of my table. Um, and then the other half over there, there's more. What I specifically wanted to look at today was these um, fabric books. Um, so what's happened with these is I've literally just made samples and then stitched them into little books so they're easy to flick through. So that's one of them. And this one's a bit bigger. Unfortunately, I don't think I can get the whole thing in the video. I won't um, go out far enough. Oh, maybe, yeah, actually, yeah. So I've actually, when I put this big pom-pom on, I thought, I don't know if that's going to stay. But anyway, it's been there for two years now, so I guess it's staying. So this one, the samples were separate, and I made pages with silk and Liberty fabric on the back. Um, but I also wanted the reverses to be nice, so I embellished the Liberty fabric. Um, and this one, the reverse is embellished as well. It's just a way of keeping all my samples together um, and safer, you know what I mean? Um, they're less likely to have anything happen to them if they're in like a big folio or like this. So that's those two. And then these are samples that I need to put in, make into a book. These are from one of my classes. Um, there's only two pages done at the minute, but they've got reverses. You see, actually, this deserves to be made into a book. I have other samples that need to be mounted on silk and then made into pages so I could actually put that together. That's something I really need to crack on with, to be honest. Um, this is another one. So there's some more of those that go with that. Um, Karen, get your act together. Get your act together and get these finished. Um, so this one, I don't dread opening this actually because I think, oh, I thought some of them might, no but actually it's held together quite well, they're not creased, I must have been more careful than I thought I was being, so that's that one. So yeah, so I've just been doing that this morning just to refresh myself a little bit and I also have pockets everywhere, that's a pocket that isn't in use, but that was made in a class. More samples. Lots of samples. So really, I guess I could make fabric books and be making them for a long time to get all these samples mounted. 